Hi everybody. What I'm going to show you today is probably my most requested um, eye look and it's a smoky eye. So we're going to just do a basic smoky eye with grays and blacks and a neutral palette. Um, what you're going to need is some fluffy brushes which are your basic all over blending brushes. Um, this is MAC 224. It's one of my favorites. You're going to need a domed uh, smudging brush, angled brush, and I think that's about all. So as you can see, I don't have any um, eye makeup on, so um, we're going to start with that first. And to get a good foundation, you want to put a good concealer and then powder that because the skin on the eyelid is so thin. Your veins will show through, redness will show through, and it doesn't make for an even application with um, your eyeshadow. The redness will come through any pigment. So you want to do that first, prep from the lash line up to the eyebrows. And we're going to start with a nude color. I think this is Bisque from MAC. So we're going to put this all over the lid from lashes until your brows. And we're going to do that on both eyes. Go all the way up there. Um, next, if you want to add a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to add a light peachy shimmer. And you're going to just want to hit this inner corner right there till about halfway over the lid because that's a natural highlight area um, for the dimensions of your eye. Next, we're going to take our flat angled brush and I'm going to use a little bit of gray and this is one of my favorite colors, it's print from MAC and I'm trying to use my ones that aren't in the palette so you can see the color a little better. You're going to start and pull the skin taut, that's the number one tip I can give to everybody on tip I can give to everybody on how to make sure your makeup goes on evenly. The tighter that the skin is, the more evenly it will go on. So you're going to start in this triangle, this being the outer point, and you're going to blend from the lash line to the crease towards the inner corner of your eye. And if it doesn't look perfect, the first this is the very first layer, so it's okay if it looks a little blotchy or messy. We're going to start here doing the same thing. And I always use my uh, chin or bottom of my hand to balance so that your hand has a stable place. Kind of like a fulcrum point right there. I hold my hand up against there and then I blend. That way you have a really stabilized support system to put your eyeshadow on. Okay, so we have that all over. You want to leave this inner corner alone until later. Next, I'm going to get some eyeliner and I'm going to use Black's um, Smolder. It's a coal color, so it's pretty uh, pigmented color. So again, you're going to hold the eye pretty tight to the side and then you're going to just start from the outer corner, just soft little fuzzy lines so you uh, don't really have a chance of making a mistake. And then I extend a little bit past the outer corner of the eye. You want to elongate your eye slightly. So you're going to go here all the way to the corner of your eye. And we're going to go ahead and do that on this side. Pull this tight. Go a little past the outside of the eye. And it helps if you have your head back a little bit and then you're going to go into the corner right here. While you have your pencil, you're going to go ahead and line the watermark rim of your eye in here. And what that's going to do is it's going to, once you blink a couple times, it's going to press all that color into your lash line so you'll have no line of demarcation where the color starts and uh, where you miss some application there. Next you're going to get your angle brush and you're going to get any of blacks, my favorite is Carbon by MAC because it's really, it's a really dark inky black. You're going to get your angle brush, load that guy up again, hold this eye out, and you're just going to go right over the eyeliner that you just put down and you're going to just work it into the lash line a little bit. This is going to give your liner maximum stain power. Got some underneath. Now we're going to go over to this side and we're going to do the same thing. And if you want to blend it a little bit from where on the edge of where your outliner eyeliner stopped, and you'll just smudge it, and that's going to be the beginning of your smoky look. Now you're going to take your um, your dome shaped blending brush again, and you're going to go back with either your black or gray, depending on how dark you want. I'm going to go back with my 
gray color. And you're going to start back in here at the corner. You're going to work from the point where you created your eyeliner and you're just going to be blending it up into the crease line and to the lash line and blending all that little angle that you're creating right there in between. Go into your crease again and you're just going to blend, blend, blend all the way up in here and now we're going to go to the other eye. Start again out here at the point, work your way to the lash line and up here and then you just fill in everything in between. It's really simple once you just set up the framework of where you have to color. It's just like a coloring book. You just trace the outlines and then blend and fill in the center. We're going to take our gray and then we're going to again hold your eye taut and you're just going to smudge all this underneath here. If your eye waters it's okay. So we've got this all smudged. Just use your finger to wipe away any extra fallout. Now we're going to go with our gray again and we're going to start to blend more into the crease with a little light layer. Now you can take a light brown or brownish gray. I'm going to take this, I think this is called concrete. And you're just going to go up here above the crease line and you're just going to blend upwards. And you're going to blend upwards towards the arch of your eyebrow. And that's going to draw your eye upwards which is, it's just an attractive look for the eye. It's like giving an instant eye lift even if you don't need one. Now we're going to go to this side and do the same thing, blend up there. Blending is really the key to getting um, a great eyebrow look. The more blending you do, the better. Sometimes I'll layer on several different eyeshadow colors just to blend and people will say, what colors do you have on? Um, I have about 12. So we're going to just blend like that. And your next tip is going to be, you can just take your face powder and dip your one of your big fluffy eyeshadow brushes in it and then you're just going to go over and this is going to smooth out any of those colors. If your blending isn't perfect, it's just going to smooth it all out and basically it's like a, a perfecting tool. So we're going to go back with our highlight color which is going to be a light peach, a shimmery peachy kind of color and we're just going to hit this inner corner and just slide it on over to the center of your eyelid a little bit, just like that. This happens to be Sin by Urban Decay, which I like a lot. And now, if you really want to go crazy, you can go back over with a little black liner, and that's really going to define that and make your, the edges of your lash line really dark and black. And if you're feeling real crazy, go back over that again with some black. And by this time, you have a really good black foundation. And then sometimes I'll just go up again in that little triangle area. And that's just what gives you really great definition. That's what adds the dimension to your eye, which was the difference between making it look like a professional did it and making it look like uh, you don't know what you're doing yet. <laughs> so we'll go and just take your brush with nothing on it and just kind of blend those colors over. And then last but not least, you're going to add your mascara. And I always recommend that you use uh, an eyelash curler. Mine is broken, so um, we're just going to pretend I curled my lashes. And my favorite mascara right now is the L'Oreal Double Extend Tubes. And again, it's like an epoxy combo. So if you ever epoxied something, you want to have this ingredient wet when you meld it with the other ingredient. So we're going to put the white on, and it looks kind of weird. But while it's still wet, the black and the white together is like your lashes were encased in a little tube of mascara. And you always want to do the outside and get the tops too. To now when we have our version of the smoky eye. And we'll close. And pretty much you can do it with any color. Uh, my favorites for brown eyes are uh, steel blues, greens. Um, add some gold if you have blue eyes, golds, or pink. Your newly acquired eye knowledge. Bye.